Good morning and welcome to another Morning Moments with Jesus. I pray that you had a great weekend and that as you rise this morning, you rise to the gift of another wonderful day, that you begin your day by thanking the Lord for just being able to get up, just health, uh, all the things that He has blessed you with, that you would start your day joyful. Today in our morning meditation, I'm drawn to Galatians chapter 5 and verse number 1, where the Apostle Paul writes a beautiful letter. But in this one verse, he says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. When I think about this verse, I I think about the property uh, that our church just recently acquired. And as we looked at that property and how grown up uh, with uh, all the neglect over the years and the, all the trees and the different things that had kind of overtaken the property. But as we begin to clear that property, it took work. It took effort. But once we begin to clear it, we begin to see how beautiful that piece of property was. How the land just rolled and the trees that were in there that we we kept were just so beautiful. And as I stood and I looked at that property the other day, I thought, you know, The beauty of this property was always here. We just couldn't see it because of the neglect of how it had grown up over the years. And God wants us to remind ourselves today that through a lot of clearing and a lot of work, you have gotten to the point where you are today where you're free. The beauty in your life was always there. It was just real hard to see through all the neglect. But now God has set you free. He's cleared a lot of things in your life. He's cut down some things and removed some things. And the beauty of of being free is that you can you can see what God is doing in your life but God wants us to know this also sometimes the longer we live in that freedom we tend to forget just how much neglect allowed things to grow up in our lives that begin to choke out the beauty of our life And if we're not careful, the Bible says here that we will get entangled again in that. We will begin to neglect the very things that set us free. And so God wants us to guard against that today. Do not be entangled again. Do not let things grow up. Do not let things get out of control that might get you back to the place you don't really want to be. If the Lord has set you free, then you're free. But never forget just how far God has brought you. Today I want you to just take a little time to take a little time To spend your time with Jesus. The one who cleared your life. The one who did the work on the cross. That you could live in freedom today. I pray a blessing over you today, Lord. I pray right now in the holy and wonderful and mighty name of Jesus. That as we come into your presence right now, Lord. We come into your presence seeking fellowship. 
We want to spend time with you, Lord. We come into your presence seeking forgiveness. Forgive us, Lord, of where we failed you and come short of your glory. We come into your presence today seeking instruction. Instruction for our life. Instruction for our decisions today. Instructions for our marriage, for our children. We seek your instruction, Lord, for ministry work and other things in our lives. Father, we come into your presence seeking the direction and discernment that can only come from you. But Holy Spirit, remind us of just how far we've come in Christ Jesus. And we pray that we will never be entangled again in that yoke of bondage that Christ has set us free from. Be safe. Be strong and be blessed. And be a person today that walks in freedom and enjoys the beauty that was always there. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, have a great day.